Hi, my name is Valentin. I'm application chemist at Buchy. It's Monday morning. I'm right now arriving at Buchy in the headquarter in Flaville, Switzerland. Have you ever thought about ELSD and how it could improve your daily purification lab work? Well, let me first check my email, get some coffee, and then I will introduce you into the world of ELSD, the great detection technique for flash and prep HPs. What's the difference between this coffee machine and a chroma system? The answer is, I don't need to know all the details about the compound in this coffee extract, you just need to have a good flavor. But if this would be a synthesized mixture or an extract for which I spent several hours, then I definitely want to know what's inside. And with this, our pure system can help. Well, it does not tell you exactly all the compounds you have, but it separates it in the column or in the coverage, then it collects them so that you can go further with the analysis. To properly collect all the substances, the system needs to see all the compounds to determine the exact point when they are eluted from the colon to achieve the optimal fractionation. This is usually done with UV absorption, but what if your compounds do not absorb light, such as carbohydrates, lipids or others? Or what if you want to use solvent absorbing light as well? In this case, you need ELSD, because ELSD measures the light scattered by particles, and any particle scatters the light, correct? Yes, correct. So let's see how does that work on our pure system. Your sample is injected here, going through the colon, coming out of the colon to the splitting valve, and from here into a nebulizer, which sprays very tiny droplets. Let me show you the nebulizer. Do you see this very small hole here? That's where the nebulizer sprays the tiny droplets. Now these droplets go into a long tube where the solvent gets evaporated. And finally, all the remaining dried particles scatters the light and the resulting photons are detected by a photodiode. That's great, isn't it? You might ask back, did I now lose all of my sample? No, because whatever your flow rate is, you only lose 30 micro ml per minute. You could also ask, okay, but how complicated is the setting? How do I define the correct temperature for evaporation? I tell you, you don't need to do anything. The droplets are so small that the solvent easily evaporates at room temperature. And the only click you have to do is here. Now you might ask yourself, don't I need a solvent carrier or at least an inner gas such as carbon dioxide? No. The pure system sprays and evaporates so small solvent amounts that you can just work with pressurized air. And that's not all. The pure ELSD is built in, so there is no extra space needed. And of course, the UV detection is always running simultaneously with the ELSD. The perfect match. UV and ELSD. Just like coffee. And Sidgala Bieber. Now, if you want more information on general detection techniques for flash and prep HPLC, just download Chromopedia Volume 1 or visit Bald's blog.